complaining a whole lot, um, but it's just because it wasn't as good as the other books and very redundant. Um, I'll still give it a 3.2 because uh, it's not a terrible book. <laughs> Point two. <laughs> but I, I feel like we were too rushed. It's too... Our, our book club is not made to, you know, read yeah. scientific books where you need to... I think it's research the words that he's saying and you were listening to it at 1.75 speed though on audible well <laughs> i finished it i finished the last two chapters just with the audible okay i, I just i i had to finish it and okay. get over with but um yeah 3.2 because it's not terrible but it's not the best it's it's worth reading it uh, if you don't have anything else better to do <laughs> so mm. you know 3.2 is pretty good though for a book that you hate I've, I've read worse books, I'm sure. Oh, there's a lot of worse. Can't think of sure. anything right now, but Phoenix. Um, I'll leave room for worse books. I'll give it. Um, <laughs> to me, it's on the cusp of four. Like a three point nine or a four? It's like a three point eight. Oh jeez. Huh. That's good. Or four. Yeah, I give it a four. I, I see. I'm really. You can relate to it though, eh? I was really into sort of how brain chemicals interact yeah. before that. Yeah. Already. Um, I mean, a long time ago, I was into bodybuilding and how that affects the hormones in the body. And I think that's kind of what I wish he would have included more in there is how um, he does the it, major hormones like testosterone and estrogen yeah, play, he, come into play as well. At the end, he does say there's not a lot of uh, experiments done to what weightlifting does to the brain because you can't test that stuff on mice. You can make right. them run. Right. So that's why, you know what I mean? So that, that was an interesting part. Okay. Way. So, so yeah, I, I, wish, I, I wish there would have been more, more yeah. of that. Maybe now in 2019 there for is sure, more. For sure there is now, for sure. But they recently discovered that they can analyze the brain without dissecting it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to lead to more human trials. Yeah. 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 Um, I know for sure strength training is probably like a mix of strength and aerobics is necessary. You yeah. can't just do running. You can't yeah. just run, man. You need you need muscle mass. Yeah. Um, so I give this book three and a half. Hmm. Um, I think because a lot of it is uh, repetitive, like yeah. what you said, Chris. Yeah. Um, it was a good book, uh, but a lot of scientific terms, um, and you know you'd have to, like this book would probably take you a month to read, even if you're reading those. Like, if you're if this is the only book you're reading. Mm-hmm. You need to research a lot of stuff to understand what he's talking about. I wonder if it's better for someone that's like like a trainer, that they understand all these words already. They right, studied but, them. Yeah, but you know Probably what? better for someone like that. I feel like the, the more the more scientific it? terms you throw at somebody, the less they're listening. If you, I'm like that. If you keep like a, a very low level of scientific terms, and then let's say your trainer t- starts talking to you about, hey, when you work out, you produce, you produce this thing called. Yeah. BDNF, and then as you leave it at that, right? You just keep that one term. What does BDNF stand for again? It's a molecule that makes your hormones your it protects hip, your hippocampus yeah. produce stem cells that turn into neuron, neurons. Yeah. It's Miracle yeah. Grow. Yes, that's what he said. It's miracle Grow. Hippocampus yeah. sounds like a very cool summer camp with hippos. Hippocampus. I don't know. It's a brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It's a protein produced inside nerve cells when they are active. It serves as miracle growth for the brain, fertilizing brain cells to keep them functioning and growing, as well as purring the growth of new neurons. Hmm. That's BDNF for you. That's one thing I learned in this book. BDNF. That, that the brain regenerates itself. I thank God. This it was a you fun book drinking. to talk about though. <laughs> like if you're gonna read this book, make sure someone else is reading it with you so you can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. We got a whole lot more out of it by talking about it than reading it. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what about the next book, gentlemen? Well, you have to read it. I'm oh, yeah. gonna Sorry. rate it uh two point four. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I, I would not you're the ass i know i would not <laughs> recommend i would not recommend this book but out of the books that i would not recommend it was one of the best books that i didn't like you did read a whole okay. lot more books right. than i have so That's i fair. still i have to leave more room for worse books yeah so i wouldn't say to anybody read this book 
Well, mm. I, I, I would, man. I would. Sure. If somebody's suffering from anxiety or depression. Absolutely. Do you wouldn't recommend it to them? Or if you're into yeah, studying. I probably would. But like I said, it's not, uh, or, uh, it's not entertaining. If you're into so, fitness, a, too, that's fun. If you're into value. fitness, yeah. yeah. So this, this, my trainer talked about this book. And then that's when I said, good idea. I'll, uh, I'll tell the boys that that's the next book. So yeah. that's how it started. Yeah. So maybe for him, it'll be more interesting. But for us, yeah. But 2.4, man, that's... Well, if Mr. I were... Mr. Ray's going to be all over your ass if he sees you. Come after me, bro.